teacher, welcome to my channel. I'm very glad you're here with me on your yoga life. You up for um, a slow vinyasa today? It's not. It's not really uh, sweaty or anything. We'll be uh, standing on our two legs quite a lot, and then we'll end with a seated uh, seated sequence. So let's get started and let's have some fun. All right, let's start. You can come to a comfortable seated position. Grab the muscle of your butt to really feel grounded through the sit bones. And actually today we start with the other crossing of your legs. So if you're naturally crossing your legs in one way, please uncross your leg and change. Just because we can. Alright, and we'll start by a few shoulder shrugs before anything. So bring your the shin parallel to the floor, long spine. And now on an inhale, shrug the shoulders to the ears. And exhale, release. And again, inhale, shrug. Release. Like a little kid that doesn't care. Three more times. Inhale. Release. One more time. Inhale. And release. And now you can close your eyes. And maybe you can observe what this move just done to the breath, to the body. Just observe the sensations. And you can connect to your breath. Just notice it. Notice your chest rising and falling freely with every breath. Now, can you uncrown your forehead and relax your jaw? Can you soften your shoulders? Can you feel the weight of the arms on your laps? And relax the fingers. Can you soften the belly and relax the hips? Can you relax your legs, your feet, and up to the toes? And here, take a moment to observe how you're sitting. Take a moment to observe the weight of the body through the sit bones. And see if you can find a gentle lift in the heart so you grow the spine tall. Can you hear your breath? Just be aware here of any sensations, any movements, any thoughts that you might have. And notice if there is anything that you can release during this practice, anything that doesn't serve you. Whether it's physical tension or maybe emotional tension. See if we can get rid of these during our practice. And you can set an intention for your practice today. What brings you on your mat? What can yoga do for you? And if you bet out of inspiration for your intention, it could be release, releasing what doesn't serve you. Now we'll take three cleansing breaths together, so you can exhale fully to start. 
Now inhale deeply through the nose. Open the mouth to exhale fully. You can even exhale with a sigh. And again, inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale. One last time, the deepest inhale you can. Maybe you can hold it at the top. Hold it again and exhale. And come back to a gentle breathing. Bring your hands in front of your heart in the prayer position. Rub the palms together with energy. Now cup the palms in front of the eyes and feel the vibrations here. Bring the eyes open in your hands, spread the fingers and release. Good. Now bring the fingertips on each side of the hips, release the shoulders back. Now inhale, bring the arms high, you can gaze up towards the thumb, the hands join on top of the head. And exhale, release the fingertips on the floor. And again, inhale, big surface, keep the shoulders down, hand touch above the head, above the head, and exhale down. One more time, inhale, up, gaze towards the thumb, and exhale down. Now the left fingertips stay on the floor, inhale the right arm up, reach the fingertips towards the ceiling, and then side bend to the left. Maybe you can walk the fingertips towards the left side of the mat. Maybe you can come on the forearm, but the hips can't, can't lift. So if you are here, it's no good. You want to stay with the hips on the floor. You can gaze up or you can gaze down, whatever you are today. And feel a very nice stretch on the right side. Elongate the arm towards the side. And breathe. Now tuck the belly, on an inhale, bring the right arm up, exhale, right fingertips on the floor. Now inhale, left arm up, reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, side bend to the right. And again, maybe you want to move the right arm a little bit to the side, bring the forearms on the floor, or maybe not. Gaze up or gaze down, as long as you feel a very nice stretch on your left side. Activate the fingertips. Now tuck the belly, inhale, rise up, and exhale, left fingertips on the floor. Now inhale, both arms up again. As you exhale, right hand on the left knee, left hand behind. You inhale in the center with a long spine, so you press on the fingertips that are in the back. And as you exhale, you twist over your right shoulder. Twist from the bottom of the spine. Now the left arm comes up and you bring it on the right knee at the front. And now put on your knees and round the upper back. Imagine it's a kind of a cat cow here. So you really want to feel a nice stretch in the shoulder blades. Now release, well, I mean, not, don't release, but straighten the back. Release the knees, bend the elbows, and bring the fingertips towards the ceiling. I'll give you options for eagle arm. So either you join the, the front of the hands or you join the palms of the hand together. You can gaze past the forearm and very gently you bring the fingertips towards the ceiling. And again, you should feel a nice stretch in the shoulder blades here. Breathe through it. Don't force anything. You don't want to... You don't want to find pain, maybe a little discomfort, but no pain. Now take a big breath in. As you exhale, cactus the arms, bend the elbows, open the chest, look up. And fingertips back on the floor. Good. Now inhale, rise up. On the exhale, left hand, right knee, right hand behind. You first inhale here at the center. And as you exhale, pressing on the right knee, you twist over the right shoulder. Twist from the bottom of the spine and breathe. Now release the right hand, bring the right hand on top of the left knee. 
Cross the elbows, press on the elbows, pull on the elbows and round the upper back. Tuck the navel. You can tuck the chin as well. And breathe here, nice stretch in the shoulder blades. And now release the knees, bend the elbows, bring the fingertips towards the ceiling, find your eagle arm or your variation of eagle arm and send the fingertips towards the ceiling. You can close the eyes to really tune into the sensation, tune into the upper back and whatever you can feel here. Now, big breath in. Exhale, release, cactus the arms, open the heart, look up. And exhale, hands on the floor. All right, and you can come to an all four position. Actually, don't come to an all four position here. I'll show you from the side, but Bring your ten toes on the floor and you can even separate the ten toes so we give them a good stretch and sit on your heels here, all right? Just for a moment, bring the hands on your thighs. It's not very comfortable, so let's close our eyes for a moment, hands on the thighs, and feel that stretch in your toes and in the ankles. Tune into the sensation, the discomfort, and just breathe through it. We'll just be here for a moment. All right, now you can open the eyes and you can come on your knees. And here, flatten the feet and maybe you want to tap the toes on the floor to have the blood circulate back. All right, now. Uh, on, the, on the knees, the hips above the knees, the shoulders above the hips, you're one long line of energy. Now extend the right leg to the side, and here I want you to roll the inner thigh in. And so you come on the arch of the foot, and the toes are pointing to the right. And the leg, the, the foot is extend, it's uh, aligned with the knee, but it's not an exact science. And we have Miha that says hi. All right. Now keep the right hand on the right knee, extend the left arm forward, I mean up. Take a big inhale here, and as you exhale, you slide the right hand alongside the right calf muscle, and again, nice stretch on the left side. Gaze up or gaze down. Now tuck the belly, inhale, bring the right arm up. And now here, using the corner to keep balance, bring the, the, sorry, the left arm on your side. And now lift the right arm up. And maybe right arm above the head. And here, if you want a little challenge, maybe you can lift that right leg off the floor. And find yourself in a modified side plank here. Engage the core, engage the glutes as well. Now, if you have the leg that is lifted, bring the, left, the leg back on the floor. Give yourself a little bit of momentum to lift the torso again. Release the arms and bring the right knee to meet the left knee. And we do that on the other side. So, correct your position. Extend the left leg to the side. Point the toes towards the left. Roll the thigh inward so you're on the arch of the foot. Left hand on the left leg. Inhale the right arm up, reach up, 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 and as you exhale, side bend to the left, the left hand slides alongside the left calf muscle. Really feel the energy from the toes, from the fingertips towards the hip. So you really want to activate your arm. You can gaze down if you want to. Now using the core, come up on an inhale. Right hand to the side, flat on the floor. Bring the left arm up, maybe above the head if you wanted to have a little to try that here. And if you, you can stay here if you'd like, or look, you can lift the left leg off the floor and you can flex the foot so you engage the glute a little more for a modified side plank. But you can keep the left foot on the floor, that's fine. Now inhale. Exhale, bring the foot on the floor if it was up. And use a bit of momentum here to rise the torso. Release the hands and bring the left knee to meet the right knee. And from here, I'll show you from the side, find your tabletop position. All right, are we all there? We 
lifting up on there. Now bring the right hand slightly more, slightly more inward towards the midline of the mat and open the fingers really wide. On an inhale, lift the left arm up for a twist. And as you exhale, the left arm threads underneath the right. You bring the left shoulder and the left ear on the floor. Now bring the right arm up towards the ceiling. And now bring the right hand either on the lower back or maybe you can grab the upper left thigh so you have an even more um, wider opening of the, of the hip. And here, if you want it, you could extend the left leg back. But that's again optional. We have variation here. But if you want it, you could do that. and breathing, which is not optional. Now, if the left leg is extended, bring the left knee back in. Lift the right hand towards the ceiling. Right hand on the floor. And on an inhale, press yourself back up. Inhale, the left arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, left hand on the floor. And we change side. Now left hand in the middle, right underneath the chest. Inhale, open to the right for a twist. As you exhale, right arm slides underneath the left. So the right shoulder and the right ear on the floor. Now inhale, the left arm high. And here you can either place the left hand on the lower back or maybe you can grab the right thigh. And roll the shoulder open, engage the core. And here, if you want, you can extend the right leg back on the floor, tucking the toes. But again, that is optional. Do what you can. Do what the body is asking for. And breathe. Now, if you have the leg extended, bring the knee back. Bring the right arm, the left arm up. Left hand on the floor. Inhale, press yourself back up, open to the right again. And exhale to release. Tabletop position. Correct your alignment because from here we go to downward dog. So wrist, shoulder, knees, hips, feet flat. Although now you have to tuck the toes. Spread the fingers wide. Press on the hands, press on the toes, lift the knee off the floor. Lift the hips up and back and find your downward dog the first of today, or maybe not. So please walk your dog, releasing the back of the legs. Make sure you can say yes and no with the head, that your, your shoulders are away from the ears. All right. And from here, you can come to a still dog. And I want you to make one step forward with your feet. And now one step to the side with your feet. So we have an extended and a shorter downward dog. Now the right hand comes and grab the outside of the left ankle. And here you pull on the left ankle so you send the right elbow to the side and you twist and you gaze underneath your, your left armpit. Keep pressing the floor away with your left hand. One more breath here. Now release the right hand. Pause. And now left hand grabs the outside of the right ankle. Pull on the right ankle to send the left elbow to the side. And gaze underneath the right armpit for a twist. And breathe. And observe where you can feel this stretch. In the upper back, maybe on the sides. One more breath. Now release the left arm forward. Now from here, walk your hands towards the back of the mat and find yourself in an extended forward fold. Grab opposite elbows and here let yourself dangle here. If you want it, you can have a soft bend in the knees. The brain loves to be below the heart. It's really, it's really good for stress and tension. Now release the hands on the floor. 
Open your feet to the side. Bend the knees and find your yogic squat here. So bring your hips down. Adjust your clothes if you need to. Up down. And bring the hips down. You know, in the Malasana yogic squat, you want to have the elbows inside of the knee, hands in front of the heart. And maybe here, you want to sway from side to side, releasing the hips. If you can't be on your heels, what you can do is roll the mat and bring the mat underneath the heels. That's, that's a really nice option. Now from here, extend the left hand on the floor with the left fingertips on the floor. And inhale the wide arm up and back, opening the chest and gazing towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, come back to the center. Pause. Right, uh, right hand to the side, fingertips on the floor, inhale the left arm up and back, gaze towards the left hand, big inhale here, and exhale center. Now hands on the floor, press on the hands so you can lift the hips, straighten the legs, heel toe the feet until they come hip distance apart. Now bring the hands on the calf muscles, inhale halfway up, long spine, and exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to rise up, big circle with the hands. The hands join above the head, interlace the fingers. Release the palms towards the ceiling. Come on the fingertips, uh, not on the fingertips, sorry, on the toes. And walk towards the front of the mat. Whoopsie with grace, elegance, and control. Inhale here, and exhale to release. Good, can you see me? Yeah, you can see me. All right, now before we do our sun salutation, we do half sun salutations. So find the mountain pose, Tadasana, bring your big toes to touch, slightly separate the heels, Engage the quads, so lift the kneecaps, pelvis forward, tip on down, you know the drill, hands to the heart. So this forward, shoulders away from the ears. Again, imagine you have a thread pulling you towards the ceiling, so you have a long spine and you have weight pulling you down the earth. Now inhale to rise up. And exhale, fall forward. Keep a soft bend in the knees if necessary. Inhale halfway. Long spine, and exhale, fold. Press on the feet, inhale to rise up, palms touch above the head, and exhale, hands to the heart. You want to keep your core engaged. Inhale, rise up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, fold forward again, Uttanasana. Press on the feet, inhale to rise, Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, tall mountain. Exhale, fall. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fall. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, hands to the heart. And now let's find our sun salutations. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fall. Inhale halfway, exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands on the floor and make a big step with the right foot back, find your runner's lunge. Inhale to open the chest so you are slightly on the fingertips and here as you exhale I want you to round the upper back so press on the right toes and round the upper back, stay cat cow position here. Inhale, open the chest, look up. And one more time. Exhale, round the upper back, tuck the chin. Inhale, open the chest. Now left foot meet the right foot for a high bend. Pause here for a moment, squeeze the glute in the belly. If high bend is too challenging, you can bring the knees on the floor. And now the best you can, bend the elbows and come all the way on the belly. 
Now bring the elbows right underneath the shoulders and find your sphinx pose here. So imagine a cat. And here, press your hands on the floor and grab the floor and pull the floor towards you. So you open the chest and the shoulder blades are squeezed a little bit more. Sphinx pose. Open the chest, surface forward and breathe. Your legs are together. Now from here, you can stay here or you can experiment with seal pose. So press on your hands, straighten the elbows. Maybe you want to shift your hands slightly towards the corner of the mat. And that is seal pose. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Now lower down the forehead on the floor. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders now. Keep the elbows together towards the ribcage. Tuck the toes and maybe you can press to a high plank or maybe you use the knees. Come back to a high plank. And downward dog using the core and your exhale. Good. Very nice. Now inhale the right leg high. And as you exhale, right foot between the hands at the front of the mat. Runners lunge again. Inhale to open the chest, and as you exhale, left foot meet the right foot at the front of the mat, and you fall for Uttanasana. Press on the feet, inhale to rise, and exhale, hands to the chest, and release. And now we do this on our left side. So find your mountain pose again, correct your posture, tall and proud. Hands on your heart, inhale for tall mountain, and exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Now hands on the floor, bend the knees, bring the left foot back, runner's lunge. And again, come on the fingertips, we're up for this variation of cat cows. On an inhale, open the chest. And as you exhale, you round the upper back, you squeeze the navel, and you can tuck the chin. And again, inhale to open, look up. And as you exhale, round the upper back. Inhale to open. Now as you exhale, find your high plank. Right foot meet the left foot. And then again here, bend the elbows or use the knee, come all the way on the belly. Zip your legs together. And now bring your, your hands outside of the mat. Lift the elbows to the ceiling and bring the fingertips on the floor. It's like a little tent that you make with your fingertips. Forehead on the floor. On an inhale, squeeze the glute, peel the chest off the floor for this variation of cobra. You go as high as you can. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale here and exhale, lower down. And one more time. On your next inhale, press on the fingertips, peel the chest off the floor, gentle gaze up, and exhale to release. Now bring the hands under the shoulders, bring the elbows in, tuck the toes, come back to a high plank or use your knees, and we all meet in the downward dog. Let's take a breath here. Now, inhale the left leg high, and as you exhale, left foot between your hands at the front of the mat. Inhale to open the chest and look forward, and as you exhale, left foot meet the right and you fold at the front of the mat. Inhale to rise, and exhale, hands to the heart, and release. Good. Very nice. Let's carry on. Now bring your feet together. So glue the feet together, glue the heels together. You can gently turn the, the, th the thigh inward and really bring all the energy towards the navel. We'll start with a chair pose. So on an inhale, lift the arms towards the ceiling, bend the knees quite down and make sure you can see the toes and you can wiggle the toes. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Good. Inhale here. And exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway to create space. As you exhale, hands on the floor, find your high plank. 
Now bring your knees on the floor, shift the weight forward, bend the elbows in, chin and chest on the floor, your butt is lifted. Slide the legs flat on the floor, press on your hands, inhale, find a cobra. Maybe it's a baby cobra, maybe it's a higher cobra, but you don't want to be here. Release the shoulders. Now tuck the toes, come on the knees if necessary, and press back to down with the up. And let's flow. Right leg high, right foot forward, and spin the left heel on the floor. Come on the fingertips. Inhale, find your warrior one. Let's settle here for a moment, shoulders away from the ears. You know that in warrior one, your hips are square to the front of the mat and the shoulders are right above the hips. Now bring the hands behind the body, interlace the fingers, and on an inhale, press the knuckles down and find a gentle back bend here, rooting your third through the feet. Gaze up, open the heart. Inhale, exhale, release the back bend, release the shoulders, release the hands. Inhale, the arms high again. Exhale, bring the hands on the floor. Lift the left heel of the floor. Find yourself in a runner's lunge. And from here, we go straight to downward dog. So bring the right foot back and find your down dog. Maybe observe how the left side and the right side are different. Now inhale, the left foot high. Exhale, left foot between the hands front of the mat, pause, spin the right heel on the floor, inhale to find your warrior one, make sure your hips are square to the front of the mat, make sure that the shoulders are right above the, right above the hips, and you sink on that front knee. So gaze forward. Now bring the hands behind the body, interlace the fingers, on an inhale press the hands down, open the chest, and find a bad bend here. Keep sinking in that front knee. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Bring the, the spine straight again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands on the floor. Lift the right heel off the floor. And from here, we'll go back to a chair pose. So maybe with a little bit of momentum, Press on the left foot, bring the right knee, bring the right foot forward, your knees are bent. Inhale, lift the hands towards the ceiling. Squat down. Press on the feet, exhale. Talasana and release. All right, very nice. And let's continue. So again, bring your feet together and let's find a chair pose. On an inhale, bend the knees, bring the arms up, chair pose. Exhale. Fall forward. Inhale, flat back. As you exhale, find your high plank. Knees, chest, chin on the floor. The butt is lifted. Slide the legs. Inhale, for cobra. On the exhale, tuck the toes. Find your downward dog. Now inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot forward. Spin the left heel on the floor. Inhale for warrior one. Sink on that front knee. Bring the hands back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, find your back bend. Keep sinking on that front knee. You want to sink on that right hip. Take another inhale here. And as we exhale, we find hunger warrior. Crown of the head reaches inside of the right knee. Left, uh, yeah, and the crown of the head towards the heel. Hands up. And breathe here to surrender goals. Now on an inhale, rise up, bring the hands high, hands on the floor, lift the left heel of the floor and find the downward dog. Take two deep breaths here. Observing any sensation, any certain movements. Now inhale the left leg high, exhale left foot forward and spin the right heel on the floor. Inhale to rise up, warrior one, 
Bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, inhale to open and find your back bend, sink on that left knee, left hip, and as you exhale, humble warrior, left shoulder inside of the left knee, crown of the head reaching for the left heel, arms up, want to reach the front of the mat, and breathe it. On your next inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Hands on the floor. Lift the right heel of the floor and press back to downward dog. And breathe. We'll take the same beginning, but we'll add on a few, a few asanas, a few poses. Now inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot forward. Spin the left heel. Find your warrior one. Hands back, interlace the fingers, open the chest, sink on that right knee, and exhale, humble warrior. We're not staying. Inhale, find your warrior one again. Pause. Now from here, let's see if we can lift the left heel of the floor so we are in a high lunge now. Good, press the left heel towards the back of the mat. Now, bring the shoulders down and inhale forward to find your power lunge. Let me just, let me go back a little bit here. So you want to be one line of energy here from the tip of the toes to the heel. Your spine is long, shoulders away from the ears. And now sweep the arms back for airplane lunge. Open the chest, squeeze the triceps together. You can stay in an airplane lunge or maybe you can come to an airplane pose, that's optional. So you step on the right foot, lift the, whoopsie, lift the left leg off the floor. And again, one line of energy from the crown of the head to the toes, squeezing the core for balance. Now you can bend the right knee, step the left toes back and we all meet in an airplane lunge again. Good. Now lift the torso again and bring the left knee on the floor. All good. All right. Inhale your arms up. And now as you exhale, hands on the floor, framing the right foot. Lean on the left hand, open to the right for a twist. And here, bend the left knee, bring the left toes towards the ceiling and with the right hand, come and grab your left foot and here kick the left foot in the hand and you can give back for a twist but you really kick the foot in the hand so we have a nice opening of the shoulders now slowly release the foot bring the right hand next to the right foot inhale open the chest and as you exhale find your half split so straighten the right leg, bring the right toes towards the ceiling. And here maybe you stay on your hands or maybe you can bend the elbows to have a, a deeper stretch in the back of the leg. Wherever you are, keep a long spine down, be here, be here. Now come back to the center, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale to open the chest. Tuck the toes of the left foot, lift the left knee off the floor, right foot meet the left foot for a high plank. Knees on the floor, chest, chin on the floor. Slide your legs, press on the hands, inhale for a cobra or a baby cobra. Tuck the toes, use the core, exhale, downward dog. And let's breathe here. Releasing the shoulders away from the ears, rotating the shoulders externally. Make sure you can say yes and no with the head. One more full breath. Now inhale the left leg high. As you exhale, step the left foot forward. Spin the right heel up on the floor. Inhale for warrior one. As you exhale, hands behind the body, interlace the fingers, press the knuckles down, sink on the left knee, open the chest towards the ceiling, and exhale, find your humble warrior, crown of the head towards the heel, shoulders inside of the knee. 
Now inhale to rise up, warrior one. Pause. Lift, spin, well, lift the right heel of the floor, find yourself in a high lunge. Good. Now hinge forward and find yourself in a power lunge. So from the fingertips to the right heel in one straight line of energy. Don't collapse the chest, use the core. Now sweep your arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades, activate the triceps. You can stay in an um, airplane lunge or maybe you want to step on the left foot and find your airplane pose. But this one is optional, just see where you are today. Now bend the left knee, bring the right foot back. We all meet in our airplane lunge. Now lift the torso, but keep the arms alongside the body and bring the right knee on the floor. Inhale the right arm up, release the shoulders down. Exhale, hands on the floor. Open the fingers wide, lean, lean on the right hand, inhale, open to the left. Bend the right knee and grab the left toes with your right hand. Gaze back and kick your foot in your hand. You should feel a nice stretch in the shoulder. And breathe. Now slowly release the foot. Bring the left arm up again. And bring the left hand down. Now prepare for your half, for your half split. Inhale to open the chest, and as you exhale, come on the left heel, lift the toes towards the ceiling, straighten the leg. And again, you can stay on your hands, or maybe you want to bend the elbows and come a little closer to the chest. And breathe here, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Now inhale back to the center. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee off the floor, and from here, find your high plank. But listen here, knees on the floor, and find your child's pose. So bring your hips towards the heels, chest on the thighs, arms extended forward. And if you press on your hands, you have the, the hips go closer to the, knee, to the heels, and you have a deeper stretch of the lower back. And you can take a few deep breaths here. Tuning into any sensations, anything that there is to feel here. Maybe check in with the mind, see how your mind is now. Have you released these negative thoughts or this tension you had? How is your body feeling now? And now by pressing on the hands, you can come back onto all fours. And I promise we don't get that. We don't get up anymore. Press your ankles and we're going to sit it. All right. We balance it better on a tailbone today. So bring your feet together. And maybe bring your hands back so you can bring the hips closer to the, to the knees. Good. We start by uh, flapping or weighing like a butterfly. So hold your toes and here just with a straight back start to flap the wings. So you want to bring the knees closer, well as close as you can to the mat. Now on an inhale squeeze the knees towards the shoulders, hold the breath. And exhale, flap your wings. And we'll do this one more time. On an inhale, squeeze the knees towards the, sh the shoulders. Maybe hold the breath. And exhale, flap your wings. Good. And come to stillness. All right. Now with your peace fingers, so the middle fingers and the index fingers, you make a little hook. And you grab your big toes. And with the thumb, you kind of secure the hook so we don't slip. Now hinge back. Come on the tailbone, lift the heels up the floor, and first thing we do, we want to find a sweet spot of balance here. Now, let's see if we can extend the right leg to the side. 
Good, we can do that. Bring it back. Now let's see if we can extend the left leg to the side. Good, bring it back. And now let's see if we can extend both legs to the side. Now if you want to keep a bend in the knees, it's fine. If you want to experiment and straighten the legs, it's fine. As long as you're not here, that's no good. This is good. So maybe you want to keep on doing one after the other. See where you are. All right. Very nice. Squeeze the core. Now take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you bring the soles of the feet together again. And down. The way we enter a pose is as important as the way we get out of the pose. Now lift the right leg off the floor and we'll do the rock the baby pose. It's kind of nice. So I'll give you option. Either you grab the foot in the hand and the knee in the other hand, that's one option. Or the foot in the crease of the elbow and the knee in the crease of the elbow and you join your hands together. So you have options. And here you gently want to rock the baby. So you want to rock your leg back and forth, bringing the knee back and to the front. Nice, you should feel that in the other hip maybe. It's good if we've been sitting the whole day. And now come back to the center. And now you can bring the foot down. You can interlace the finger and you can place the foot in the hand for here and pose. So here you want to kick the foot in the hand and the hands resist. So you have a nice opening of the chest. You can stay here gazing past the toes or Maybe you want to straighten the leg. And I'll show you from the side. Again, you don't want to be here. Tall spine, so press on the sit bones to lift the chest and press the hands in the, the, the foot in the hand. Now take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you can release. And we take that to the other side. So now, rock the baby on the left. Take the same variation you took on the right side. So either using the crease of the elbows or using the hands. Wherever you are, you know that it's exactly where you need to be. Anchor yourself through the sit bones. And here, gently start to rock the baby. Gentle movement. long spine, feel your sit bones on the floor. And now come to the center, release the foot, interlace the fingers and bring the foot and the finger in the hand, sorry. Lift the calf muscle of the floor. Don't be here, be here, long spine. Stay here or maybe you want to straighten the leg. You don't have to. Wherever you are, you want to get past the toes. And you want to breathe. Now one more big breath in and as you exhale you can release. Good. All right now plant both feet on the floor with the knees pointing up. Extend the arms forward and this control we unroll the spine on the mat coming on our back. Head on the back of the head on the mat, everything is well aligned. Hands alongside the body with the palm facing down. And now lift your legs towards the ceiling. Make sure the lower back is on the floor. So squeeze the lower belly. Bring all the awareness on the lower belly. Palms are flat. Now, if you feel that the lower belly if it is lifting, you can slide your hands underneath the bum. Now point the toes towards the ceiling. Inhale here. And as you exhale, both legs come to the floor, hovering the floor. Keep squeezing the lower belly. They only hover and you inhale both legs back up. If you feel that you're arching the lower back, bring the hands underneath the bum. Again, inhale, exhale, lower the leg down, only hovering the floor, don't go too fast. And inhale, legs up again. One more time. Exhale, legs down. Inhale, legs up. 
and I lie it one more time. Exhale, legs down slowly with control. And inhale, legs up again. Good. Bend the knees, squeeze the knees to the chest, give yourself a big hug. You deserve a big hug. Now keep the, keep the, so when we hold the knees, it's a, what we call a passive pose because we are holding. And now we make this pose active. So engage the core and release the grip and open your arms to the side with the palm facing down. Now bring the knees to the left or twist so you gaze to the right. Now on an inhale, bring your knees back to the chest. And as you exhale, knees to the right, gaze to the left. And we do this one more time. As you inhale, lift the knees to the chest. As you exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Squeeze the core, inhale, knees center. Exhale, knees to the right, gaze to the left. Good. Inhale, center. Pause. Bring your arms around the legs and just give yourself one last big hand. And from here, if you want, you can take a happy baby pose. So bring the feet flat, uh, feet flat, feet parallel to the floor. Open the knees as wide as, the, um, as, wide as you can. Grab the ankles, grab the other edge of the feet or the big toes. Keep the lower back on the floor. You don't want to lift the lower back. You can stay in a still happy baby. That's absolutely good. Or maybe you want to sway from side to side, falling on each side of the, of the mat, knowing that you won't fall from very far. Maybe you want to extend the legs. Just find any playful movement before Shavasana. Any last movement you want to make, And now you can slowly release your happy baby pose and find the corpse pose, Shavasana. Extending the legs forward, bringing one foot on each corner of the mat, opening your hands to the side. Let your feet fall out, completely relaxed. And we'll take three belly breathing together. So start by exhaling all the air you have in the belly. And now inhale to the count of four. Four, three, two, one. Hold the breath for four, three, two, one. Exhale fully for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, Two, one. Inhale, belly rises for four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale fully, four, three, two, one. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Inhale, belly rises for four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, fully, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. And come back to a gentle, spontaneous and simple breath. Shavasana is the moment you integrate your yoga practice. It's a transition between your yoga and whatever comes next. You might be tempted to skip Shavasana, but stay here with me for the next couple of minutes. Relaxing your feet and your legs. Relaxing your hips and your belly. 
your lower back, your mid back and your upper back. Relaxing your chest and your shoulders. Your arms and your hands. Relaxing your throat and your neck. Your jaw, your cheeks, your eyes and your eyebrows, the space between the eyebrows, and the forehead, and the entire skull. From the crown of the head to the tip of the big toe, your body is completely relaxed on the floor. And so is your mind. Your body is breathing for you. You have nothing to do. Just be here and now on your yoga mat. Completely relaxed and completely still. Now you can bring your awareness back to the space around you, the room where you are. Bring your awareness back to your body completely still on the floor. And you can bring life to it by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Maybe you can make some rotation with the ankles and the wrists in one direction and then in the other. Turn your head from one side to the other. Extend the arms behind the head so you can stretch in a big inhale or you can yawn. Mm. And then when you're ready, you bring the knees to the chest. And then you can roll on either side, finding a fetal position for a moment. Come back to the intention you said at the beginning of the practice. And then slowly bring yourself back up to a seated position with your legs crossed and your eyes closed for one moment. Again, finding a gentle yet in the heart to grow the spine tall and letting the flow of the breath go back to a vertical position. Bring your hands in front of the heart. Thank yourself for making the time to be on your mat, taking care of your body and your mind. And you can also thank your amazing, strong, and beautiful body for allowing you to be into the yoga and for taking you places. And together to close this practice, we'll chant the peace mantra Aum Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can exhale all the air. Now inhale deep with the chain.
Thank you, beautiful yogis, for joining my practice today. I really hope you enjoyed the class. And if it's the case, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share away with your friends, your loved ones, your colleagues, the entire world. And spread the word that yoga is amazing. And it helps with everything. It's always gives us like so much more energy. Have a good rest of the day, of the week, a beautiful weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye!